what's up guys so i get a lot of comments on uh some of my older videos on the lg g8 g7 just pretty much all of them and i can't answer them all so i want to go ahead and wrap it up in this video from a lot of new people that have subscribed to the channel so if you haven't seen uh the reviews on any of those just type in which phone you want to see g7 g8 uh v40 and just put matthew's tech in the search bar and then you'll be able to see all of those reviews and videos now i am planning on getting the lg v30 as well i think that's going to be the last one and uh hopefully the v60 uh but let's go ahead and talk about which one is going to be best for you like i said this is going to be super brief just kind of going over um you know which phones uh in the price ranges so uh the cheapest phone on this list is going to be the lg g7 so currently right now you can find it for around 150 dollars uh even cheaper as uh, we saw i made a video and uh, it was around 127 that was the cheapest and i believe this one should go uh, down it should keep going down this year uh, right now it's at 168 you know, which is an excellent price so you're pretty much getting a flagship phone uh, with the G7 and what I like about the G7 is it is the oldest out of all of these phones uh, I believe but it's still a very very solid uh, smartphone it has a 6.1 inch display it's an IPS display so you don't have to worry about screen burn-ins and the thing that stands out uh, with the G7 is definitely the speaker uh, so uh, this has the best speaker out of all of these phones it's a single firing boombox speaker it's really loud and gives off some really nice bass and it's just really nice so I really enjoy the speaker on here and believe it or not the G7 can actually max out uh, games you can play games on high no problem whether it be Call of Duty uh, you know Fortnite, PUBG. Uh, so this is the cheapest one uh, with the best bang for the buck. So you have everything here wireless charging uh 1440p display with the little notch uh you have pretty decent cameras with the dual camera setup uh, so this is a super solid phone uh if you don't want to spend over 200 bucks now if you want to spend exactly around 200 bucks and you want a bigger phone if 6.1 inches is just too small for you uh then the v40 uh comes in at around 229 and the price kind of fluctuates on there it could be cheaper as well basically the v40 is uh the bigger g7 here um you still have a 6.4 uh, 6.5 inch display uh, it's the same 1440p display but it's a poled display which means you have uh, the always on uh you know capabilities with this display uh, which is something that i really appreciate and just being able to watch content and play games is going to be better uh, on a bigger display uh it, it does give off some better colors just deeper blacks uh, but that's the biggest difference the downside with this phone is probably the battery life you're looking at around six to seven hours of battery life which can get you through a day but you are going to be plugging in uh, by the end of the day now you do have an extra telephoto lens on the v40 uh, which is something that i really like and the cameras are slightly better on the v40 uh, than on the g7 uh, but you still have all of your flagship stuff wireless charging uh, IP rating premium design same as the G7 just bigger and with a better display in my opinion but the speaker is not as good as the G7 now next is the LG G8 now if you're going to ask me which one would I personally get out of all these phones it would be the LG G8 hands down uh, just because of the size uh, it's just really really nice um, so the biggest difference between the G8 and the G7 and V40 is that um, the G8 has better battery life and a better processor and the cameras are actually slightly better on the G8 uh, in my opinion so if you want to see those comparisons be sure to check those out uh, but yeah I would go with the G8 solely because of the battery life is better uh, the one thing that I don't like compared to the G7 is obviously the speaker is just not as good uh, on the G8 uh, but I would go with the G8 because the price right now is 244 you're getting a Snapdragon 855 which is a win you get the POLED display 1440p 6.1 inches i love the size a uh, really great size kind of kind of compact not not really compact but kind of um 128 gigs of storage is really nice as opposed to the 64 gigs you get with the v40 and um g7 um so as you can see just paying uh i guess around 50 bucks more as opposed to getting the um v40 uh you're getting definitely a nice upgrade the battery life is a really good upgrade the cameras are slightly better on the g8 even though you don't have the telephoto lens and like i said everything is still there the ip rating glass and metal design uh beautiful display 1440p 
um, you also have NFC on all of these phones of course so all of these phones pretty much have all of these same features it's just minor differences uh, with each one now the most expensive phone right now is the LG uh, V50 so this one is a little bit more expensive because it has the 5G so if you're interested in 5G and you live in a 5G area you can get a really cheap 5G phone uh, that's also a flagship phone it's just got the Snapdragon 855 this one actually has stereo speakers now it's not louder or better than the G7 speaker but it is better than the um, V40 and the G8 speaker so that little phone piece acts as a speaker which is something that I like but you pretty much have the same specs as the G8 I just did the comparison so if you want to check that out please do um, but yeah it's pretty much the same just have a bigger display so if you want basically a bigger G8 uh, then you really have that option with the V50 and plus you have 5G but pretty much the same specs uh, you do have dual camera setups on the V40 and on the um, V50 so if you would like to take group selfies and stuff like that that'll be really great uh, but other than that it's not a huge difference um, uh, the G8 and V50 both run Android 10. The V40 and G7 will be getting Android 10 uh, later this year. So that's not a huge issue for the older phones. But you do already have it on uh, the newer ones. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So as you can see, just minor differences. But pretty much to wrap it up, great cameras on all of these. Um, great battery life on pretty much all of these and you also have great hardware on both of these which i can't stress enough so these phones really will last uh, for a while so that's pretty much just to wrap it up and just to let you guys know that i do have those older videos for all the newer people that are asking for comparisons i do have those older ones for you guys to check out just go ahead and type it in uh, so that's pretty much it thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one